Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Something a little different again today. This will be my first unboxing. This is McClanahan A model, serial number 756. Anybody that watches the channel, you know that I've, I'm kind of into A models. I have a Collings MT and also a Stanley A model mandolin. This will be the first McClanahan A model that I've ever played. I'm really excited. So let's jump right into getting this thing out of the box. To check this thing out Jonathan said that it was killer I bet it's gonna be Wow sorry about the camera work and the lighting I think that's man that's gonna be pretty good representation of the color this reminds me so much of the first f5 that I had as far as the shading man that is a beautiful mandolin and I'm digging this case too I I have not um seen one of these before this is i took some notes here it's a uh guardian vintage lore case with that green color and man you gotta love that um i'll give you guys some more specs those are waverly tuners with the pearl buttons man what a headstock isn't that really something wow and everything about this, just world-class. That's a James tailpiece. I think that's right. I'm checking again. I have my notes written here. Yes, engraved James tailpiece. If you're not familiar with those, this is the whole flip-up deal. Really nice. You don't have to worry about them making noise or any of that stuff that the traditional tailpieces can give trouble in that way but this is really something i'm assuming this is a lifetime warranty instrument and i have these papers too um for the f5s that i have owned and still own that jonathan mcclanahan built so wow on to some other specs like i said this is serial number 756 i wonder if we can see the label if the lighting is good enough uh, kinda. But it's serial number 756. The relicking is a 30-year relic. That's what Jonathan had in the notes. And the red spruce top, Adirondack top. It does have a speed neck with oil varnish finished. A radius fingerboard. And Waverly tuners, like I mentioned, obviously an adjustable ebony bridge and a lifetime warranty. All right, I'm going to edit this in there. Got to get a shot of this beautiful one piece curly maple back. I know the lighting's not real good. I'm doing this in a hurry. The owner of this mandolin will be at my house later today to take possession of it. I'm going to hate to see it go. Look at the speed neck and the, the grain in that wood. And that varnish is just really something. That's a, that's a killer back. 
what a Cracker Jack mandolin. Okay, I'm going to set up where I normally do and get this thing on a good microphone. Alright guys, I can tell you this thing absolutely plays great. I was giving it a test drive while I got the mic and everything set up. For Man, this thing sounds great. When I... Strong G chop. When I took it out of the case, it was pretty much in tune. I had to tweak it just a little bit. That's something I've learned that uh, Jonathan doesn't even drop the tension on these things when he ships them. I do know that the mandolins that I own that I don't really play much, I leave I leave the tension up on them all the time, but he shipped it with it in tune like this. The speed neck really does feel great. Got it all over. A model mandolins are fun to play. What I really love. A model mandolins, for whatever reason, make me think different. Just when I'm playing it, I, I want to, I tend to do exercises and study the fretboard more when I have an A model in my hands. I really don't know why. But this one sure is fun to play. And I guess that's going to wrap us up pretty good here. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. This is, this is a Cracker Jack. If you're interested in anything, Jonathan McClanahan does. You can check him out online.